regulations. Um, these rules are there to try and keep the, the gym um, as tidy as it is and try and keep it the gym as um, to for clients to be comfortable in it. So um, point number one, each equipment must be placed back where it belongs. So this this bullet point in just informs every client once they finished for example with your dumbbells they they should put back they must put the dumbbells back in the rack. Um, each client should bring their own towel in the gym and in the pool. Um, this is advised because of um, when you swimming you, you become wet so just to wipe off after you, your session in the pool shower um, before you enter the pool so every time you enter the pool if you were um, training so it's we advise to take a shower so that you don't bring those um, germs in the pool uh, wipe down e equipment after use um, like the hygienic um, regulations the, this one also informs that each client should um, wipe down equipment after or before use so that it becomes clean, it becomes clean. signage um, all clients should sign an indemnity form with their emergency um, numbers so that in case a client gets injured, we know who to call and where to call. Okay, so emergency management um, in case something happens or to avoid um, the scenario where there's an emergency. So each section will be will have the first aid box with emergency numbers. So these are the emergency numbers. Um, staff members should should have a first aid qualification. So each staff member in the gym will have a, a, quali a first aid qualification so that in case anything happens, there's someone who's qualified on site at that time. Um, always there should be two um, swimming, swimming, swimming instructors, one inside the pool, one, side out, one outside the pool to, um, to watch and look outside and um, act as a, as a as a as a watchful eye for the instructor inside the pool. Okay, this is the um, hygiene uh, hygiene um, schedule, and then this will let um, the clients know what time and the places or areas are being cleaned. For example, there are times on the side which tells each and then there are days, days of the week. The, the gym goes from Monday to Saturday. On Sunday, it doesn't open. Oh, okay, so this also informs the client um, at what designated time does um, a place is being cleaned and which informs the client that they must not use that area at that specific time because it's being clean. Okay, so this is the maintenance schedule for the whole year, which um, informs what time, keeping track of, on the equipment of what time, what uh, month of each equipment was made, being maintained. So this is the layout of all the, just the basics basic equipments that will be maintained.
for being maintained. This is also to keep track of all the equipment and time and months when they are um, being maintained and if not and why was the um, equipment not maintained. Okay, um, this is my gym. So uh, I hope you understand it. Thank you.